It's Kayla with Happy Vegan. I um, wanted to share my idiotic exercise this weekend. I thought, okay, I'll take me and my husband. We'll go to the, lo we have a little tiny local state park. And they have trails that are hiking and biking. Well, I've decided I'm not biking the trails. I will bike on the road, on the paved trails. And then I will run through the ups and downs and roots and trees and stuff, I'll just hurt myself. So I'll run. Well, I take him, and he was in a bratty mood all morning, so we get there, and he's just walking. I was like, well, hey, come on, let's just run down the hill. Da, da, da. No. As soon as I start running, he goes back to the truck. So that made me mad, of course. So I ran back to the truck, we got in the truck, and went home. Well, we were supposed to have plans with a friend after our morning run. And instead, he started working on his truck. So I'm still mad. It was like 11.30 in the morning. And um, talking to a friend of mine who probably lives about seven miles away. Five or seven miles away. And I said, um, she's like, well, just, just go to my house. I was like, no. And I said, I'm not going to sit here while he works on his truck when we have plans. I said, you know what? I didn't go this morning. I'm going for a run. She's like, well, run to my house. I was like, alright, fine. She didn't think I was serious. And I made it three and a half miles before she called me. Um, and she called and says, what are you doing? I was like, well, I'm walking right now. She's like, well, where are you walking? And I told her the name of the road. And she's like, no, you're not. You know, it's off of a major, a... Not like a interstate highway, but it's off a pretty major four lane road. And I had to go off of our road, down that road about a mile, and then back off onto a quieter road. She says, You just not go down that road. And I was like, No, I did. She's like, No, you're in a you're in your truck, you're lying to me. I was like, Okay, if that's what you want to think and I took a picture of uh, my feet on the pavement and sent it to her. She's like, I'm in my car right now coming to get you. So my point was, the morning run was literally 15 minutes long. It was fine. It was comfortable. No issues. So when I went for my burn off anger run, way too hard. Not for my lungs, not for, thank goodness it was overcast that day. The outsides of my calves and shins were killing me. Two days later. I'll show you where right here right there all on the side and then walking my calves would hurt but I didn't want to be on that major road so if there was a turning lane I would stay on the other side of the turning lane by the grass but when I had to come off of those I would sprint down the side of the road well I paid for that that was really dumb don't do that you know, the whole weekend warrior, don't go over to yourself. Yeah, did it. But, I didn't permanently injure myself. Um, that was Saturday, today is Tuesday, and they don't hurt this morning. So, I did do a lot of walking on Sunday. Went to an amusement park, walked around about five hours. But they didn't stretch it back out. They were a little sore yesterday morning, but I think I'm good now. So, this afternoon... I want to go either ride my bike for just 30 minutes or do a run or something. We'll see. It don't hurt, but I need to, I can't be consistent if I'm in pain. So, can't overdo it again. I have to do something nice. Okay, food. Mm. At Chinese places, I've given up fried rice for steamed white rice. That's a huge plus. Um, I did that about a week ago. We've been like two or three times. And my friend of mine actually went, did, did you mean to order that? Yes. Yes. He said, why? Because it has an egg? I was like, well, that too. And all the oil. So far, here's my breakfast. That is a liter of fresh orange juice. Fresh orange juice. Um, but it's only about 450 to 500 calories. So I'm going to have... Um, I think I just figured out in front of me like 10, 10 or 12 figs. I'm going to relook at it again. So I can get to 1,000 calories this morning. 
I'm going to do a banana island, but they have to be ripe first. <laughs> so I bought a box of bananas yesterday from Walmart. Okay, so we have a farmer's market on Saturdays. They had one booth of fruit, and it was like small basket of strawberries, small basket of blueberries. There wasn't food there. There was honey and organic marinara, which I tasted and it was really good. They have, we're in, a, we're in an arty type community. There's tons of art, tons of artists, um, tourist town. So, tons of art. Uh, I think there was like wood art. Somebody was rifling a motorcycle. There's, there was no food at this farmer's market. And we have a tiny, tiny fruit stand, which I might go to today and show you guys. Um, usually, I can get any sort of citrus fruit as much as I want, especially the people that know me. So, like, uh, I really like grapefruit juice, so I'll go and get grapefruits. Will be, um, they'll be starting to overripe and. Um, the guy there, Brody, he says, you don't want those. Those are, I was like, no, I want these. These are the ones I want to make juice with. They're fantastic. He's like, just, he's just 10 for a dollar. Okay, sure. We get tons of them. Um, but I haven't been in a little while. I know they do not carry. They are a, we're, once again, small town, but we're more of a corn potatoes, which potatoes are fine. Corn, potatoes, bell peppers, that's what your onions, that's what you're going to find at this little fruit stand. Um, and watermelon, tons of watermelon. But, like, dates, figs, bananas, berries, nothing like that. Stuff I want, which I don't know. I actually don't like mangoes. I try. I am I will try any food, and I'll just say once, more than once, to make sure every time I see a mango, I try and I still don't like them. I thought, you know, maybe I'm just getting it wrong. I'm not getting it the right ripeness. I don't like... No, I just don't like mangoes. I try. I really do. Now, frozen mangoes, I can put in something. So I think I could put a fresh mango in a smoothie. But to just eat mangoes, as much as I want to do that, I don't like the taste of them. So, I think I'll show you um, what the little fruit stand looks like when I get there today. Of course, they cash only, so I have to go to the bank and cash out just to go to the fruit stand. But, um, it's actually in walking distance from me. So, I had some... Oh! I went to Walmart and bought a box of bananas. Well, I did... At first, I asked them what they do. I was like, do you have any that are, like, from yesterday? You know, maybe a little spotty? And the lady says, no, we don't keep those. And I was like, what do you do with them? You do not throw them away. She says, no, we give them to second harvest. And Second Harvest is a, um, like, community helping organization that will, like, help donate food and things like that. So I said, okay, you know, I'm, I'm, you're not throwing it away, I'm good with that, and you're helping people that really need it. So, but if, if you're going to throw them away, just let me know, you know. Person A over there knows me, so just, I'll take them. So instead I had to buy an entire 40-pound box of unripe bananas. The banana island has to wait for at least a few days. Okay, but they had to ring them up individually, like in, in bunches, because they don't know how to ring up a box. It would not come up no matter what they did. I was like, just put 40 pounds in at the the 59 cent a pound. Well, I couldn't do it that way either. So I had to total up all the pounds and total up all the costs. And it was a 40 pound box, but it ended up being 34.44 pounds. And it costs twenty dollars thirty one cents a pound, or I'm sorry, no, twenty dollars thirty one cent total. Um, and because I'm a math geek, when I got home, I counted them, and there were ninety one bananas, and that means they were twenty three cents a banana. I thought that box would have cost you more, so I'm very happy about that. However, I want to know what they cost elsewhere, so let me know if you want to put down what a box costs. Anywhere. I mean, a fruit stand, a large store, whatever. That's fine. I want to know that I'm being a good deal. I mean, I think I am, but I don't know. Okay, so there's my box of bananas on the stove. 
There's my figs on the counter. That I'll be digging into. But then I remember, it was my juicer I was using. My orange juice this morning. I remembered I have a huge thing of watermelon right there. Yeah. So I'm going to do Banana Island. I need to get rid of that. I realized that after I made my orange juice this morning and ate a fig. So I think I'm going to try to eat that tomorrow morning or between tomorrow morning and the next morning. So I don't want to waste it. Good news is if it does get wasted, wasted, my horses like it. Horses love watermelon. So. Okay. Sorry, didn't want to make it this long, but um, I'm going to go enjoy my orange juice. Oh, and one thing about that. I like smoothies very, very thin. Uh, once in a while, I'll be like, oh, I want a dessert, and then I'll you know, have a chunky smoothie. But what I found out is even when they're thin, it's still difficult for me to eat it. Like, I'm like, oh, this is so much, and it's not really what I want. You know, I want junk food. <laughs> so... I decided to try it with a straw one day because my thought was how fast does someone go through a coke at McDonald's or a sweet tea or any drink in one of those large styrofoam cups and you know what it works I usually sit like this in front of my computer I'm at now, and just sit here and drink don't even look at it just sit here and drink it while I'm playing on the computer or work actually I'm working right now but um that's what I do. So, just maybe try that. Maybe put a straw in it. I have those little tiny straws, and then I went and bought some smoothie straws. And they're like, easily a quarter or half inch wide. It's wonderful. So, I am out for the day. I'm going to go work. Um, I'm try to get some footage of the fruit stand in a little bit. And hopefully a bike ride or a run. Anyway, hope you guys have a great day.